I would never ever order this. This is the moment that we have been dreading. Whose idea was this? I'm gonna eat all of this. It's brave. Why am I sweating all of a sudden? Come on! Hey. Hey. This is the strangest thing I've ever eaten. In our last video, we reunited with Dev's parents after two and a half years and soon after hopped on a plane to Boracay where we jumped off cliffs, sailed on a parale boat and enjoyed some quality family time. We then have a short stopover in Cebu and right now we've come to the oldest street in the Philippines. We have just arrived on Colon Street and today we are going to be doing a food tour, trying some unique and interesting Filipino street food with my parents. It's not the first time that we've been here. In one of our previous videos, we took a jeepney here to the older street. But today, it is raining, unfortunately. So we're gonna try and make the best of the situation. Hopefully, we don't have to be outside for too much of the time. Even in the rain, it is absolutely humming with people walking up and down, jeepneys, bicycles, motorbikes. This rain is gonna be interesting. I hope it subsides, but rain or shine, this place is never ever shuts down. We have made our way to our first stop on our food tour, which is literally down the street from Cologne Street. And they've turned the street into like a food market. A food market feast, it looks like. This is awesome. This is exactly what we came for. We want to taste all the food that we've never ever tried before. We've got the lovely Prue with us. She's going to be our food guide for today. Okay, everybody, this is Prue. She is the lovely food host that we have today. How long have you been doing these food tours? Um, it's been a few years now. I'm not exactly sure, probably like three or four years. I haven't done any tours since 2020 till earlier this year. Wow. So if you come to Cebu and you would like to do a food tour, we highly, highly recommend that you choose Peru. We'll put all of her details in the description below. You don't want to miss this food tour. She's going to show us all of the hidden stuff, things that we would normally look over and look past. And we've got two of our buddies with us, Dev's parents. So they're going to be tasting things that they've never tasted before. I've got such a huge smile on my face because this is exactly what I love about the Philippines. Food, people, busy vibes. It's just awesome. To start off, there's lots of these fruit stalls and they all have little colorful umbrellas. That's going to be perfect because of the rain. We're literally going to jump from umbrella to umbrella. How are you feeling for your Filipino street food feast? I can't believe that we're going to taste a whole lot of interesting different things that we've never eaten before. I'm here for everything. Hello! This looks great! They've actually created like these cauldrons almost on these hot coals. It's about mid-morning so people are having that for breakfast. So you can see they actually have the, the broth and all of the pork bones inside. Right! on a wooden fire. We're literally maybe 50 meters down this road and we've already just seen so many things and there are so many flavors just coming off the street. What is this? Bulaka. Bulaka? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Like a uh, chicken? Uh, Bulaka means uh, flour. So this will be our first stop over. Chicharon Bulaka. Chicharon? Yes. Oh. Made from pork and breastings that has been deep fried. So we're starting literally first thing with some deep fried pork and fish sides. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Maybe that one looks quite interesting. Yeah. Yes, it's a sea grapes. Sea grapes? Yes. Okay. We trust your judgment. <laughs> going inside to taste all of these foods right now and I'm so keen. Let's go. We are literally down this back alley. There are all of these stalls that just go along here and then there's the main road on the other side. It's so nice to see what local people eat here in the Philippines instead of just going to maybe the chain restaurants or eating in the shopping mall. What I love about these street food tours is that you just get straight into it. We've got all these 
dishes now that we're about to try. Sea grapes, deep fried chicharron, which is like the, the intestine. And you have to dip it in the soy, in the calamansi, in the chili. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You gotta have the dipping sauce. That's what we've learned in the Philippines. <laughs> Look at that. Mm, I like it deep fried as opposed to just the, um, the ISO on the stick. What are you trying first? This is the deep fried in taste of Yes. Okay. So these little guys are called Leto, which is seaweed. And they call them like sea grapes because they literally look like little grapes and they pop in your mouth and it's full of flavor. Mm. Mm. They literally pop in your mouth. It's literally seawater inside. Whoa, that's literally like a burst of flavor. It's like eating the ocean. <laughs> Beef soup with cabbage in. Okay. Really Perfect good. dish for a rainy day. Nilat an baka. Nilat an baka. Which translates in English to a beef soup. Mm. Lots of flavor. Lots of flavor. I love the soup. Mm. So you have all of the vegetable, the beef cooked in this broth. That's where all the flavor comes from. First meal done. Now we're on to the next one. Many people use Cebu City as a stopping point when they're on their way to the islands. But if you're here for a day or two, I really recommend going into the town and seeing what else there is to offer, especially the food. The food culture here is so unique and you have to go down these tiny little alleyways. This is what we call uh, Kalan Street, uh, the oldest street in the Philippines. Uh, it got its name from uh, Christopher Columbus. Yeah, so you're really seeing like the original local Filipino culture and the flavors, which is what you came for. Okay, we've come to our next spot. What are the options? This is some chicken blood. Chicken blood? Uh, okay. Filipino hot dog. Filipino hot dog. This is the uh, esophagus from the chicken. The chicken esophagus. I guess this is what and we then came we for. Also try the, uh, uh, chicken neck as well. Chicken neck. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> this is where it gets interesting on the tour. Pru started us off lightly with some nice beef okay. soup, but now at our second stop, things are getting interesting. Let me know how many sticks you want. To yeah, I don't want a chicken liver. Yes. Okay. Fresh yeah. chicken liver. Okay. So I'll take a good one. Like okay. You <laughs> yeah, you're eating. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll do the liver. You do the liver. This is the local hot dog, and this is chicken blood. Chicken blood. I don't know who will be brave for that. I'm daring Devon to have this oh, chicken blood. See. <laughs> no comments. Come on. If you do it together. Will you try it with me. Come all the way. <laughs> Okay, why am I sweating all of a sudden? <laughs> so our food is being cooked right now. Look how popular the stand is. And there are so many people just walking up and down the street. Such a vibe and energy, so loud. Everybody's chatting, enjoying their breakfast. Please let us know in the comments below, what of the foods we eat today do you like the most? Take the photo of it. No matter where we go in the Philippines, everybody just wants to have a chat, they want to invite you, they want to share their food. It just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside and you kind of just want to reciprocate that. Now it's time to try some chicken blood or some intestines and chicken esophagus and all sorts of interesting things which I need to psych myself up for. So we have got a table just for ourselves where we're going to be trying some of these interesting things. And the table is literally in the street. We literally chose one of each and we're going to try all of them. I have never had any of these. Have you had no, First time for me. First time. I'm really out of my comfort zone now. 
start this side and make our way to the hot dog. Okay. So let's start with some chicken neck on this big stick. Wow. I'm going to try the chicken neck. Not so sure about this. Lots of bones. Lots of bone and skin. Mm, lots of skin. Thanks, Prue, for bringing us here. Delicious. I'm going for the safe option with the chorizo. <laughs> I think it's a safe option. Mm. That is good. You are right. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. I'm going to eat all of this. <laughs> so Filipino breakfast um, is usually with chorizo, scrambled eggs, garlic rice and you're set to go. I'm going to try the chicken liver which Prue said is kind of like a liver pate. Really good. And then you dip it as well. It also wow. brings out the flavor. So it's my turn to taste the esophagus. Mm. It's crunchy and it tastes like chicken skin, but it's good. So we're going to try the hot dog together. We need to dip. See, we're learning the right way. We're learning the technique. Very good. That was very good. You can see how tender it is inside. This is the moment that we have been dreading. This is the pork blood which has been coagulated or solidified and hardened. It is kind of a grayish black stick of delight. We're gonna do this. They say anything on a stick is good, so. <laughs> In my head, I'm just thinking of like marshmallows on a stick and I'm hoping that that thought gets me through this. Okay, so let's do one piece. Each. We'll save the other one for mom. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Good luck. Cheers. <laughs> tastes okay? okay. Just tastes like a, a grey square of nothing. Okay. So it's okay. Mm. Alright. I'm happy with it. I'm impressed. Followed by a chorizo. <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite. Yeah, I like yeah. this one. It kind of looks like a cement block. Whose idea was this? Okay, I'm just gonna take a small bite. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I think wrapping your mind around what you're hearing versus what you're tasting is totally different. So once you actually taste it, it's not as bad as it sounds. Chicken blood versus actually eating it. It's not too bad, I made it. <laughs> so this is humba, which is kind of like the Cebuano version of adobo. And adobo is the national Filipino dish. It's the, the dish of the Philippines. So this has been slow roasted, slow cooked actually, for more than 30 minutes. And it's got some vinegar, some soy, ginger. Oh, can you see it just like Whoa. comes right off apart. the bone, just like that. First bite of humba. Mm. It tastes like um, pork ribs and it's got um, a thick layer of fat on but it's so flavorful. Yeah. Mm. You know what we love the most about the Filipinos is they hype us up. <laughs> Whenever yes. we're doing something they're like, yeah, you should do that, you should do that. Go, try go and it, eat try this. It, try it. So, Thank you all for always doing that because that's what we love. So what we have done is literally just start on that side of the street and make our way all the way down to the end and find some of the best things to eat. Siniguelas. Siniguelas? We're eating season right now. Oh, what? It's like a calamansi? I uh, know it's not. It's a little bit hard. This is the siniguelas. Whoa! Fantastic. Mm. Oh, I didn't expect that. Yeah, and you put the salt on top of it. Mm. Okay, we can put some salt on. Oh, eating a siniguala. It's clearing up a little bit. More people are coming through. So this siniguala's fruit is actually part of the cashew family, which is very interesting. And it can be found in countries like Mexico, Philippines, lots of South American countries, and of course here, the Philippines. We have literally just found this lady on the street and she is selling apple mango which is something we've never tried before and you need to have it with the shrimp paste and it's a little bit sour. Look how beautifully cut it is. Wow. 
We heard that the mangoes here in the Philippines are so good, so... Oh wow! So it's sweet, but I don't of sour. We have just arrived at one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Oh these God. giant cauldrons where they are making fish soup that's just steaming onto the road. And this place is so unique because it was featured on a Netflix show called Street Food Asia. So if it's on Netflix, it must be good. Wow. This is eel. 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 This eel. is eel. Wow. They are cooking this fish in this giant broth the steam and the heat that is coming from these coals. I don't know how they work here all day, but it's so rich. They cook the fish and they have it on a plate and then they add the broth and the vegetables on top. So this is the view every single day while they are cooking this fish. They can just look out on the streets and we are literally behind inside the building. What I love about this place is this is as local as you okay. can get. No wonder it was featured in Netflix. We can see all the people working here. It's like an organized machine. So let me give you an idea of what you can order here at this restaurant. Puffer fish, shark fin soup, eel, stingray, the whole ocean. Because the port is right here, it's all delivered fresh to this restaurant. Yeah. So we've just received the soup of the day. And it's boiling hot, I actually can't even hold it. <laughs> so it's a soup that's very, very localized to Cebu. And it's actually a Filipino version of like a Tom Yum soup. Ooh. Oh, it's salty. Yeah, it's very mm. salty. It's, it's kind of something you would have like if you have a really sore throat or if you've got a cold and you want your sinuses to like burst open. That's how I would describe the soup. Thank you for coming. For Thank by. you. Bye bye. So you say this is the pig's brain? Yeah, the pig's brain. Okay. This is one of the most incredible things I've seen. They have just put these wooden benches and then a table with a pot on a fire. We're about to have tuzla bua, which is pig's brain. I'm not sure how I feel about this. This seems maybe a little bit beyond my comfort zone. We're quite adventurous, the four of us, but I think this is the first time where I'm a little bit hesitant. Wow. So I just have to observe what they do. So the young boy is doing it. He's got his rice. And he's just scooping yes. and it's hot as well it's on what's actually amazing is there's a technique that you have to do everybody's just using the rice to scoop up the pig's brain and the pan is so so hot and they're literally dipping their rice in the pot and eating it just like that holy moly how are you feeling about this holy moly <laughs> so the pig's brain is already made into a soup and then they just add that soup into the pot, a little bit of soy sauce, and that's how it kind of turns into this bronzed gold color. Okay, this is the moment. Pig's brain. Got a whole brain. I, I've got a lot of brain. I need all the help I can get. It's definitely tastier than I thought. When I first saw the white soup, I wasn't so sure, but it's actually really, really good. You're very brave. Just having more and more. Huh? Like a gravy. Mm -hmm. Because they've had the pig brain in a soup for a long time, you can see that all the flavors are mixed together. And then it kind of just sits on the right perfectly. Oh, it's about to eat the brain. <laughs> Does it help you become smarter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a bit of brain on there. 
Yeah, they're experts, you see. Look at these boys. So it's become a little bit crowded. People just come off the streets and to buy one of those little bags of rice, it's only five pesos. The pig's brain soup is actually free. You don't ever, ever have to pay a charge. So you just pay for the rice and you can just have as many as you want. And it's suitable for breakfast, lunch and dinner. All you have to do is pay for the rice. How does it taste? It's like a gravy. Whoa, what a time we are having so far on this food trip. We would have never gone down these streets if it weren't for Peru, so it's just an... Good morning. Good afternoon. It's Maison. They're playing Maison and card games literally halfway through the street. They just blocked off this part of the street. It's like a senior citizen game center, it's like bingo. You would have never ever found oh it. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Wow. So the last item on the list for the food tour is the infamous Hello Hello. And you guys told us that in our previous video when we tried Hello Hello, you totally let us have it, that we were eating it the wrong way. And we actually didn't mix our Hello Hello. So this time we're gonna redeem ourselves and do it the right way. I've never ever ever ordered this, but I'm doing it for Chef and Dev subscribers. <laughs> So when Devin's parents first arrived, we asked you guys if Devin's mom should try Hello Hello and of course the answer was yes. So we're finally gonna do it. So it looks purple like taro, but it's it's actually ube. Now, Hello Hello means mix mix. <laughs> That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix. There you are. <laughs> oh, you're making a mess. Yep. Doesn't mean mess mess. Mix mix, not mess mess. Got some jelly. Jelly and cornflakes. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mixing. I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. And flan. Flan, jelly, cornflakes, beans. And we have to mix until it turns purple. So it looks pretty purple to me. Please let us know this time if we're doing it correctly. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> oh. I flew all the way from South Africa to try Hello Hello. <laughs> and you've done it. Hello Hello means mush mush, mix mix, mess mess. Devin's <laughs> dad's gonna try. <laughs> you can't have all the fun. So it's just turned into like a big mush of flavors and treats. I like it. I like the cornflakes. That's a good extra. So after our incredible food tour that we've had, we have just taken a short walk to Magellan's Cross behind me, where one of the first settlers of the Spaniards that came here in 1521 planted this cross which is situated right next to Basilica St. Nino and I think it's a perfect way to just soak up the energy that we've had during today. Thank you so much for watching this video to watch our previous video where we took my parents to one of the most beautiful islands in the Philippines for a kai click here and one of our favorite videos ever click here. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.